Hi guys, so today's subject slash topic is um, the transportation system of Singapore and how to navigate it. And I'm not sure if this is too trivial of a matter to even make a video about, but at least for me, I did struggle a bit with the transportation system in the beginning and I don't know what I would have done without my cousin helping me out initially uh, to get what they call the easy link card and also like just my friends helping me out in general yeah i've been through a bit with getting lost with google maps and all like google maps don't trust google maps never i got lost once uh and girl was out there for three hours when i could have reached my destination in 20 minutes so yeah the transportation system here is super convenient and i really am in love with it so yeah let's go into it hey so i'm gonna go out right now to bugis so i thought i'd bring you guys along and experience the wonderful transportation system of NUS and Singapore in general. Actually, I think today I'll just be using the Singaporean transportation system, so great! I'll take you guys along. I'll be taking the bus as well as the MRT. And I have to say that it's... I'm, I'm starting to get a bit afraid because I'm getting quite used to the convenience in terms of transport here compared to how it's like back home. I'm from Malaysia. To those who are new, hi, I'm Singwei. I'm from Malaysia. I'm in Singapore now. I'm studying business analytics in NUS. Hey. So yeah, I'm gonna head out now. And mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. shout out to Cairo Clothing. And I just missed my bus. Anyway, yes, City Mapper is dope. You see everything on there, you just see all the routes and all the timings and prices. For NUS, there is the NUS Next Bus app for all the timings and the stations. Yeah, really convenient. And right now, I am just at the station because I don't know, I just want to show you the station and typically. That's how NUS bus looks like. Real orange and yeah, I'm taking the 95 bus right now to Buena Vista Station and this is Apple Pay. I basically use it for my travels and whatnot. I don't actually use the EasyLink card at all anymore because Apple Pay is amazing. I feel like it is life-changing honestly. I. I'm getting too used to just having my phone be my wallet. I don't have to carry around anything apart from my phone and that convenience is actually scary. Whoa. Ah uh, yes, okay, I am trying to show you guys how we tap out the bus and this place, this kiosk is where we tap out our EasyLink card. I'm just trying to show you how so I'm tapping random buttons because I'm not actually trying to top up my card. Yes, yeah, so you tap your Ezilink card to get through the gantry, but see, I got declined, so I'm walking away with shame. Also, just interjecting here a bit that you typically get your Ezilink card at just like a counter at the train station. So every single train station should have this counter where you can just buy an Ezilink card for like $7 initially, and then you top it up. But Mm, I would say that I don't have any use for my EasyLink card anymore because I just use my Apple Pay on my phone and I'm pretty sure like every other Android phone would have this kind of functionality where you can pay like Samsung Pay just have your debit card on your phone to do cardless payments so yeah, you might not even need your EasyLink card yes, just get a bank account which oh my god now that I think of it, maybe I should talk about that too. But setting up an account, like a bank account in Singapore, is surprisingly quite easy. So let me know if 
it's something you guys want to know how to do I'll probably if it's not too extensive I will just write in the comments or something yeah mm, my train is here and this is the green line I typically don't like the green line actually because it's not underground yes and I am here and I saw oh my gosh the clips are going too fast <laughs> Hey, yeah, okay, I am muting this part, but I was trying to say there was like walkways for you to like um, go to different exits and it's really convenient because you are sheltered or all throughout your way. Yes, I'm in Bugis right now and Bugis is honestly one of my favorite places in Singapore. It's so beautiful and there's options for everything like food, entertainment, and inside scoop. Do you see that? I was not aware there was inside scoop in Malaysia, but this is my stop today. Uh, going so fast. Uh, but yes, pesto cream pasta is love. Y'all gotta try Tipo when you get uh, to Singapore. So shout out to Tipo and shout out to my friends. Hi. <laughs> Hey, I'm done with dinner. I really want to get back. So we're gonna take an alternate line just for the lols. Yay! Yes, we're at the downtown line and downtown line stations might be my favorite because they are I think the newest stations uh, right now. Yeah, it's really pretty and most importantly empty not today apparently but um usually they're pretty empty and yeah at the end of the night i wanted to go to fair price to get lemons for lemon water because the pasta was actually really cloying mm, it was good but it was very jelak but guess who didn't actually get any lemons this girl uh but she got sweet potatoes oats because I'm living a war life, war diet as oh, my sister likes to call it. Yes, but honestly, if you guys haven't tried it, just try and you'll get what I mean. Like air fry your sweet potatoes 200 degrees Celsius for 25 minutes. Air fried sweet potato, they taste like the sweet potato you get at Gunting, like I don't know, like at like a Taiwanese night market or like Don Don Donkey for those in Singapore like those baked sweet potatoes they taste like that oh so good air frying your sweet potatoes guys yes that is the last thing I'm gonna say <laughs> <laughs> 